I've already talked about the makings of the Studio Series Gamer Edition figures in the Optimus review, so I'm not going to go over that again. And I do understand that a majority of the people on this God's Green Earth uh, don't like this version of this mold. But oh my god. I kid you not. I don't think I've ever had this much fun with a Deluxe since Siege. I love Siege. That's my favorite Transformers toy line ever. But oh my god. I hold this and it makes me happy. He's like a mouse. Let me, let me get the gun out of that. He's like a mouse. Tippity tap. Everyone's made that joke. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just hopping on the bandwagon. It holds together really well. All the paint is really nice. Uh, even the red paint, which is a notoriously difficult color to color match, color is color matched really well. I have lung cancer. No, I, I don't. It's a joke. There's so much paint on this thing. I'm not one for paint, but every time it shows up in such a great amount of detail, like, there's even some on the wheels, it's, it's awesome. There's no paint on this black part back here, but since it's on the back, you're not going to really be noticing it that much. So, shut up. And also, there's virtually no cable in this mode whatsoever. It is just a nice little buggy. Um, unless you look on the bottom, but even then, who looks on the bottom? I also appreciate the pinned wheels. It rolls extremely nice. That's probably because this figure is also the same mold as Bumblebee, and, you know, Bumblebee always gets top dollar now for some reason. I don't like how this little flap doesn't like to stay in, but, you know, it's fine. I love the little orange stripe that goes in. I love this thing. Okay, um... Uh... So, uh, before I move on to the transformation, I just want to talk about how... I don't know why, but... The more and more I think about it, I think Cliff Jumper is one of my favorite Transformers ever. Like, he's not in the same status as, like, Wheeljack or Barricade, but it's just I'm always really happy when he shows up. And I'm always really sad when he gets killed off over and over and over again. He's just a palette swap Bumblebee, and he's really fun to watch. It's always fun watching a guy, a small little guy who's overconfident, get his crap kicked in, and I love that. I loved him in Prime, I loved him in the Cybertron games, and I I, I just I just like the guy. I don't I don't know what to tell you. So yeah, um yeah, Cliff Jumper is one of my favorite guys ever, I guess. Hell, Earthwise Cliff Jumper is one of my favorite figures of all time, and that thing parts forms, and I hate parts forming. How did a figure that parts form may end up as one of my favorite toys of all time. Anyway, so, robot mode. And Cliff Jumper's robot mode, while some might see him as a little pudgy, I see him as. <laughs> I like it. I, I just, he feels nice to hold. He's nice and solid. There's not much kibble on show. I mean, the legs could use a little bit more detail, and they could have had the ankle pivot on the right side of the leg. But it, I don't, I don't mind it for some reason. This figure has so many flaws, but I just, I don't know, I, I, I like it. The head sculpt, oh my god, the head sculpt. The head sculpt is awesome. This is always going to be my favorite head design for Cliff Jumper. Screw the other one, this one's the best one. 
He's got a nice minotaur looking uh, appearance, and I freaking love that. Love the addition of the silver horns, too. Very nice. Oh, yeah, he's got weapons. Like, a lot of weapons. Since he is a Cybertron figure, you gotta take off his arm. Eh. And he comes with this bulky looking blaster, which, yes, is blast effect compatible. Hell yeah. He also has this smaller, more pea shooter looking blaster, which, I mean, it's alright, but you know, it, could, it could be bigger. He also comes with a sword, which pegs nicely into his hand, and it, I like that a lot. Could have used for some paint, but I'm not complaining. Oh yeah, his arm is also compatible with Optimus' giant ion blaster, which, you know, that's awesome. So yeah, these are some pretty awesome accessories, and you can get them into some pretty cool poses. That was a very bad transition. We have a ball joint at the head, though it is a little bit limited due to the mold. Ball joint at the shoulders. Bicep rotation. Hinge. Right. Just about 90 degrees. Really weird Narcissa wrist. Like, did I count that? Well, rotation at the waist. Ball joint at the hip. Rotation at the thigh. Knee bends over 90 degrees. Mafia knees if you want to count that. And this is admittedly a pretty bad take on their part. A ankle pivot, but it's on the outside. That's not good. The posability isn't phenomenal by any means, but you can pretty much get him in any poses you want. Like, he's technically below average. But, I, I, I'm not mad! You can get him into just about any pose you want, and the pose ability that he does have is above average when it comes to what joints he actually has. Like, he doesn't have the same amount of joints as everyone else, but the ones that he does have are pretty, what, well, they're pretty good. Except for the ankle pivot, I don't know what's going on there. So, yeah. Comparisons! Detroitus! Starscream! Buff Prime! And Fall of Cybertron Deluxe Class Shockwave, one of my favorite toys of all time. Comment if you want me to do a video on this guy. Comment, comment now. Forced engagement! Yeah, I like this guy a lot. Like, in any other circumstances, I would probably not even recommend this figure. I would probably tell you to stay away at all costs. But for some reason, he just gives off a sort of fun and cool energy that I can just not ignore. Like, every time I look at this guy, I just want to play with him. Is that how kids play with toys? So, uh, yeah, go and buy him. Right now, if you can find him. Good luck out there, soldiers. Merry Christmas.